Okay guys, so today I'm going to do something different. I'm actually going to play a demo of a new game that came out, uh, being Resident Evil Revelations 2. Now, I don't have much experience with um, the Revelation games. I've only played the first one for a little bit. Um, and I know saying Revelation games isn't really, you know, it doesn't make sense because there's only two of them. I consider Revelation, um, like... The type of control scheme that went after Resident Evil 5. So, like, Revelations 1, Resident Evil 6, uh, Re Revelations 2, The Mercenaries on the 3DS. I know that doesn't sound right, but that's that's what I consider. Um, so, I have, I've only played the first one for, like, the first two uh, hours. So, I'm going to see how this one holds up. And I'm actually going to just give my quick thoughts on it to see if I'll actually get this game or get back into the game. <clears throat> so let's see this riveting cutscene. Oh, okay. Never mind. Uh, all right. So I'm, I have the demo, as you can see. View the manual of the game. View the manual for the trial version. All right. Melee attack is right bumper. Ready weapon. Fire. You have to hold the right bumper to use herbs. What? Switch character. Um. Huh. <clears throat> Alright, so you have two weapons. Your sub weapon and your, um your man your primary weapon which is basically your gun and your knife physical attack right trigger close to wounded enemy uh pressing the b button and the left stick in a direction is an evasion enemies can inflict impair impairments on you oh so they're bringing oh Cool, they're kind of bringing back the Outbreak element, where in Outbreak, if you bled, you uh, move slower for a lot of time, for a, a pretty good amount of time. Um, I, it's good to see the bleeding thing might make a return. I hope it's I hope it's a good, like, you know, a good way of um, hindering you, not just like, oh my god, this is taking hours to get rid of, or oh my god, it's just, it's, it's not even a hindrance, it's just stupid. I really hope it's not like that. Um, it's two player, which is good to good to note. Partners abilities. Um. Okay, so yeah, kind of like Outbreak, partners can find hidden items for you. Um, which is also another good thing that I'd like to see come back. Now, I know raid mode is probably like mercenaries or something like that. Uh, I, since I... I guess I'll go normal. Uh, you can play local split screen, from what I can get from this screen. Um, I don't have anyone next to me, obviously. So I'm just playing this demo alone. Um, I'm not going to play too much into it, but I'm going to play it enough to get an idea, and I'm just going to get my thoughts on how the, basically how the game feels to me. So let's see what that is, but they, what are you doing in my Resident Evil game? Get, get out of here. So you start off with a knife. I'm going to guess you find a gun. There's blood. Can I examine it? Looks like it's blood. I hope it's not Chris's. Okay, yeah, this is already really awkward. Um, I mean, I don't hate it, but... Oh, jeez. Oh, look, more blood. Can I take his keys? Blood. 
lol. <laughs> it, you you took the words right out of my mouth. All right. I want you to stay right there. Oh god. No, get over here. Oh, okay, you're right there. I can't switch characters. Okay, the game lied to me. Oh, okay. That's cool. Alright, gonna guess there's gonna be enemies coming from somewhere. So I wouldn't be surprised if, like, something popped out. I hear something. Dum, 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 dum. That doesn't look scary at all. So I'm gonna walk around and knife the window. Huh. Ooh, body bags. Maybe I can punch him, be in the next Rocky movie. Ooh, beds. I wanna sleep in one of those beds. Let's try it. Hello. Can I help you with something, sir? I guess not. I can't even open these doors. Um. Cool. What does BP stand for? Battle points? Baby points? British Petroleum? We'll never know. Right, this game already controls a little odd, but I'm going to give it the benefit of the doubt and say that it's probably going to be at least enjoyable. <laughs> right, we made it. Like, I, I, I didn't really follow this game that much um, when it was being developed, so I have no idea what, what to expect coming into this. Now that I played the trailer, or we're playing, I'm playing the demo for you guys, I kind of know what to expect, but I'm going to... I'm gonna knife him just to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, no, you don't come back now, do you? The key's gone. Oh, God. Do you, uh, are you gonna use that? It's more reliable than in person. If you say so. <laughs> wow, Claire. You just kind of made her feel like crap. I hope you know that. When the body fell. It could be anywhere. How do you reload? The light around. Oh, I can't. What is that? Body bags? Claire, I see the key. It's out of reach. Let me try shooting it down. Can I switch? Okay. So it only gives me the option to uh, switch characters when the game wants me to. What was that? Oh, okay. All right. What is that? Oh, hey, buddy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God, run. Spinnakers! I knew it. Um. All right, run. Um. I don't know. Let's double back and try. I'm gonna check the status screen. Moira? Moira. Is in Moira from Fallout? Can I help you, sir? In death? You look a little, uh, you look a little fat there. Just kidding. You just look stupid. Yeah, um... <laughs> We 
will not be uh, purchasing this item today. Oh, what's gonna happen? I feel like he's gonna come out. <laughs> grab that, grab that. Hey, buddy! Goodbye, buddy. Watch this, ready? I'm gonna show you my prime dodging skills. Ready? Nope. Oh, okay. You hit me anyway. But alright. I'll hit you. And then I'll knife you. And then I'll knife you again. And I'll knife you a third time. And you know what I'll do? I'll shoot you. Okay. Okay. When I said give me a kiss, I didn't mean like that. But you're dead now, so it doesn't matter. Using an herb! <laughs> oh, Resident Evil. You seem like a third person Call of Duty right now. But I'll give you I'll give you a chance. Oh, you can run and evade. Alright, watch this. Ready? I'm gonna Ready? Ready? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, I wanna see this. Okay, I j I just wanna evade. Run up and hit you and then I'll knife you. Knife you some more. Yeah. Yeah. your head off. Alright, what do we got here? Is there anyone in this bathroom? No? I thought not. Okay, so why why doesn't Claire just hold the flashlight? Why does it have to be so important for Moira to hold it? Like, seriously? Oh, hey, buddy. I uh, almost tried to get me like that Resident Evil 1 zombie that comes out of the bathroom. I knew it. You almost scared me. Not really, no. Actually, it was kind of a bad attempt, but you know. You never know. That one. Oh. Stop giving me kisses. I don't. You're not my type. Ugh. Wow. <laughs> Singing a song about running. The song about running is me. But then I won't sing this song because my right right there. And now I'll open the door and flee. There's a weapon. I'll grab it. I now can switch weapons from the own guns. And then I'll move something I don't know how to do. Can I shoot this with the shotgun? Oh my god. You need a gun too, Moira. Yes, you do. Sorry, I don't do firearms. Not after what happened. Shit, I'm sorry. I forgot. You're gonna... Maybe we can find you something. You're gonna take the gun, and you're gonna like it. I swear to God, you're gonna... No, I'll just be on flashlight duty or something. It's fine. Oh my God, you're such a wuss. <laughs> I think there's something shiny there, but I can't make it out. Let me hit it with the flashlight. Good, uh, good lip, lip movement. Blunt weapons. I can do blunt weapons. Okay, that's pretty cool, I guess. But still. Okay. What do you? Does your flashlight turn into the, <laughs> to the thing? Seriously? Oh god! All right, let's try this. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to do the Sheva option from Res from RE5. Sheva, help! Help me push this crate. It's two feet long. Oh my, it's like five pounds. Sheva, help. Oh, hey, buddy. And now you're dead. <laughs> that was anticlimactic. No, I don't want to use the herb. Stop using that. I wanted to switch guns. See? It's a lot better because I can save ammo this way. 
Don't, okay, good. No, no QTE. That's good. Uh, that's what I like. Right, this is kind of starting to look like The Last of Us from. Like, I, okay, I probably shouldn't even say that. Because I've never played The Last of Us. But man, oh man. For a second there, it kind of it kind of looked like a Naughty Dog game. It actually kind of. Nah, I won't say it. I, uh, I, and who exactly are you? I guess we'll never know because <laughs> um is that it? Am I done with the trial? I didn't even. What? I'm here, baby. Please be oh my god, Barry. What? <laughs> Your daughter's name is Moira? Yeah. It's, okay. it's like a TV show. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That pro Jared video about Alone in the Dark stated that Resident Evil copied Alone in the Dark. And then Alone in the Dark Coffee Resident Evil. Now Alone in the Dark, the 2008 one, had episodic format. Now Resident Evil's copying off that. <laughs> it's so bad, oh my god. Uh, well, I'll have to spend a little more time on this game to... To see if I actually want to get it. But, um... It looks alright, I mean... It just doesn't feel Resident Evil, other than, like, the, the zombie aspect. But other than that, I mean, I'll have to try it again, but I'll, I'll give you my quick thoughts. Basically, on the game was, you, you, you could hear me talking about it um, throughout the little trial. Um, it didn't control, like, a Resident Evil game to me anymore. It took away the tank controls, which I personally thought made the Resident Evil series fun because it's supposed to be like scary and if you give somewhat bad controls during like you know moments when you have to run it makes it more fun because you don't know how to control right when you're running away from something and you have these tank controls so you have to make sure you plot your turns carefully and stuff like that like nemesis Holy crap, in Resident Evil 3, that guy was like a... Oh, God. He was like the worst... Probably the worst chase scene that I've ever had in a horror game, ever. Because, like, literally, you think, like, oh, going through the next room, like, from Resident Evil 2, oh, that would save me. But no, this guy bombs through fucking doors. Oh, my God. <laughs> so... So, yeah, I, I don't know. The controls, uh, I could... I could guess I could get I used to it, but I don't know about the story. It seems a little uh, far-fetched so far, and they didn't even give you that much of a story anyway. So characters, uh, I don't, I, I don't care about the characters that much. I mean, the only one I remember is Claire and Barry. The other two seem bland. Uh, I'm pretty sure Moira would probably have a pretty good background, but. Because it kind of just throws you into, like, the trial without ever explaining who Moira is a little bit. Probably makes her seem to me like a bland character. Like, the accident, like, oh, not ever since the accident. I've heard that excuse a lot for characters. But that's because I actually had time to play through the whole game. Because I don't have the time... And the money right now to buy to to get this. Well, I do have the money, but I just don't want it right now. I it's kind of my fault for just assuming that she's gonna be a bland character. But uh, it's the fir it's only the first episode out of like five or something like that. Um, so there's that too. 
Uh, but really, this game, this game to me seems like it's gonna be very, very mixed, uh, opinion-wise and gameplay-wise. Uh, I'll have to, I'll definitely have to take a second look at this, and uh, I might check reviews after. But for me, my quick thoughts are basically: doesn't feel like a Resident Evil game to me, but I won't, I won't take away. Like, what I'm trying to say is I won't say it's a crappy game just because it doesn't feel like Resident Evil to me. To me, it just doesn't feel like Resident Evil, but I'm not going to say it's it's a really bad game. I'll have to play through the game a little bit more, and then if I ever do get the the other episode thingies, whatever, I'll do a playthrough on that or something to kind of just like let my thoughts go through as I play the game and go along but uh yeah thanks guys for watching uh, this is the first time i've done one of these things i'm if if this is well received i might do another one of these like demo demos of games that are coming up and and just give my quick thoughts on them and maybe i'll do more i don't know anyways uh thanks for watching and see you guys next time